the second segment of the show for today. The topic is European dictators and the Second World War. And uh, Lana has already identified uh, several of the European dictators uh, during the Second World War that she would like to uh, talk about. And so, Alana, let's get right into uh, this whole issue of European dictators by talking about uh, some of the uh, three dictators that you've already mentioned and give us some information in reference to that. And then we'll uh, build up on the information. And by the time we get into the third segment, we'll have uh, quite a bit of information in reference to them. Go on, give us that kind of information. Adolf Hitler. What do you think of when you hear Adolf Hitler? I th well, I think of the Holocaust. I think of uh, the World War II. I think of just a number of things. I think of brutality. But what do you think of, and why don't you talk about Adolf Hitler? When I hear Adolf Hitler, I think of Anne Frank, her diary, the struggles that Jewish people had to go through, the pain that they suffered, the concentration camps that they were found in later mm -hmm. after the Holocaust had ended. And now, Adolf Hitler, when you, you have to expand on this basically. You, you can't just say, oh yeah, he made the Holocaust, blah, 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 blah. It was so much more than that, so much more than that. I mean, he, he, he killed many people. He took lives that didn't belong to him. And, I mean, and he just took lives and took lives. If you did something, if you did the slightest thing that he did not like, you were gone. Okay. And so that's what I think of when I hear Adolf Hitler. Now let's expand more on who Adolf Hitler was and why he is such an important part of this show today. Yes. Adolf Hitler was ch the Chancellor of Germany. He was born in Austria and died in Germany when he was assassinated. Now, he was an aggressive person growing up. He always was, and he, you, he grew up to be. He, and he was the leader of the Nazi party. What do you think of when you hear Nazi, the word Nazi? I think of Adolf Hitler again, <laughs> uh, and uh, the leader of the party. Go on, speak yeah. to it. Now, Nazis were a group of people who basically thought that they were better than everybody else. Like, if I happened to walk down the street and I walked across a Nazi, I would uh, get sneered at. I would. I would probably get pushed or teased or laughed at because of the color of my skin, because I was African American. But luckily, I've never crossed over a Nazi. And now, the Nazi party is, is still, I, I don't really want to say alive, but still, they're not, act, well, they're active, but they don't cause riots or anything, I believe. They just, they're a party who think they are in a higher class of everybody else. Like, there's low class, middle class, higher class, and then there's them. <laughs> That's what goes on in their head, and they think that God sent them on the world to be better, basically, that they're supposed to be better, th and they're supposed to mistreat people who aren't like them or who aren't them. And so that's what you think of when you hear the Nazi party. But now let's, let's focus on Adolf Hitler. Now, this, this man who was famous for the Holocaust, most people think that he his actions, his aggressive foreign policy is what caused the w Second World War. He thought that he was so much better than that when he caused all this ruckus, that's what people think of when they, they think that he started the Second World War. And do you think that's true? Or? He did. He actually he started the Second World War in, 18, in, in, in 1939. In 1939. By the invasion of Poland. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and so and he, he, he liked to see this. He liked to see him having power over something or somebody. I mean, because if he didn't have power, then he would be mad, and then he would assign somebody to be killed for his own personal pleasure. Mm -hmm. But I just, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I just can't see how someone will enjoy seeing millions and millions of millions and millions of innocent people. I mean, these people weren't criminals. These people never did anything to you. They were innocent people that got killed for what they believed in, what they looked like, their orientation, what they were. If they weren't Adolf Hitler, if they weren't part of the Hitler family, then well, there well, were apparently nothing to Why them. don't you give us some examples of some of the uh, killing and, and some of the uh, tragedies that uh, uh, Hitler caused uh, the Jewish people? The Anne Frank, for example, or something. Yes, the most famous death that happened um, in the Holocaust was Miss Anne Frank. She wrote, well, she, she, wrote, she had a diary, and she kept all of her um, experiences about the Holocaust in that diary. And when she had passed away, her father found the diary, 
and he planned to be able to, and he made sure that that book was published and that everybody got to see how horrible it w the Holocaust was. And that's what he did. It's been published in almost all languages. It's so many languages, like German or English. <laughs> and so, yeah. And so that's how important Anne Frank was to the Holocaust. And those, uh, and she's basically the most, mm, it, well, not, she's not, well, she's what people think of when you hear a Holocaust. You think, uh, you, meet, you immediately think of the Diary of Anne Frank. You just write on the spot. And it was, she was so much more than that. She wasn't just a, a, an author. I mean, she didn't even plan to be an author. She, she was just a regular girl who kept a diary. Very good. And, 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 and so in a real sense, You've identified uh, Adolf Hitler as uh, perhaps one of these dictators, and I think you've indicated that a dictator is a person that controls uh, the government, the political That's government, the ruler everything, of everything. everything, and et cetera. And now, what do you think uh, over the last uh, two minutes that we have during this segment? What do you think that uh, were some of the most destructive things that dictators did outside of actually killing people? I they. I mean, I think that was the worst thing that they did. I mean, they killed people, they ruined families, they separated families. They did so much to these people, to innocent people that didn't deserve this. And they were killed because of what they believed in. Well, if you looked at uh, these dictators, would, uh, how would you uh, uh, classify them in terms of how they uh, suppressed folks' freedom and their citizenship? and? Uh, Perhaps their right to vote. Did 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 they control that aspect of, yes, of the they, lives? Yes, they of they took away every right that that, that the, the people in that country had. They took away the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, the right to vote, the right to citizenship, and the right to be able to be a citizen. Mm -hmm. To be free. To be free, and, right? And in a real sense, and and so in a real sense, these dictators that you've identified in Europe during uh, the uh, period of the Second World War. Uh, you've identified Adolf Hitler as uh, perhaps one of the uh, uh, leaders in a real sense because of the... Uh, but he is nothing compared to Stalin and, and Mussolini. So, and, and, and that's what we're doing. We'll get ready by uh, doing this uh, next segment. We'll come back and we'll talk about the other two uh, dictators that you've identified, uh, Joseph Stalin and uh, Mussolini. Mm -hmm. And then that will give us during this last segment an opportunity to pull all of this together and come up with some general statements in reference to uh, dictators, European dictators during uh, this particular time. Because I think that that's essentially what we're trying to get at, that while this happened a long time ago, it is that still the idea today. of uh, freedom, exactly. uh, the idea of citizenship, and the idea of voting is still a very, very vital. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Final segment of the show for today.